Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a extremely large and very unnecessary makeup haul. Which of course we all know that we love. So I will jump straight into it because I have a ton of stuff to show. So I'm going to start off with a couple of PR packages. So I was recently sent this lovely package from... L'Oreal. Had no clue what it was when I first got it. Um, I hadn't seen anyone unbox this on their Instagram or their Snapchat. So I was very surprised when I saw this. And they've recently come out with a ton of new lipsticks. And this is the Color Riche Shine. So beautiful. Mm! So many colors. Honestly, very excited. These are really beautiful. I actually took this kind of corally shade to when I went to Sydney, really beautiful color, very vibrant. Um, these are legit the same thing as the YSL Rouge Full Up Shine, exact same thing, just a quarter of the price, well, half the price. I was also very generously sent a lovely package from Esme Skin Minerals, which I love their stuff. I've got all of their, um, like their serums and oils, they're beautiful. Um, so I didn't want to throw away the box just yet because I wanted to show you guys. So this is how it came. So it came with their two new masks, which I am so excited about. I've tried this one already, it is amazing. And they also sent through a box of green tea, um, which was really lovely. So I'll show you guys what the packaging looks like. Really beautiful, they're really good masks, by the way. So once all of that is unpackaged, this is what the two masks look like. You can see they're gigantic, um, they're really, really beautiful. I've tried this one, which is your hydrating mask just really nice and cooling it just feels really nice and plump and juicy on your skin I absolutely love that and then there's also a nourishing mask which I have not tried yet but I am very excited to I love a good mask so I love and appreciate this so thank you Esme for sending me through now this I was very excited about so I was contacted by Bobby Brown now I have worked with Bobby Brown just recently in the past just to do a Instagram video and I absolutely love their stuff before that I had never tried any Bobbi Brown products so I was very grateful when they sent that through. Um, now they actually sent through their new collection just some bits and bobs so they've sent through this beautiful camo collection. Um, this is actually the eye and cheek palette. So gorgeous. This packaging is everything. I love, love, love. So beautiful. When you open it up, it has a really good size mirror. And then in there, there's also six eyeshadows, which are more of your cool tone neutrals. And then there's also this really beautiful kind of marbled uh, golden highlighter in the center, which is really stunning. And it kind of reminds me of the hourglass, like the pressed um, ambient lighting powders. That's what that middle one reminds me of. So I'll definitely be doing some kind of look with this. I am so excited about it though. So I love that. And they also sent through two of their single eyeshadows. When they first sent these to me in their first uh, package, I literally died. Died. Dead. Like, so excited. And then they released two new shades in this collection. And you guys, these are stunning. Stunning, like no joke. They are so beautiful. So this is what they look like. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So the green one is called Jungle, and this is the most beautiful duochrome green color ever. So beautiful. And then there was also Incandescent, which I've worn a little bit more than Jungle, but it is just such a beautiful pinky, like shifting gold, orangey, like. It's hard to describe until you see them like in person. They're really beautiful. I love these shadows. They're so duochrome and just so stunning. So love, love these. Mm. They also sent through a nail polish, which is in the color camo. Now this is a dark charcoal uh, gray with a golden, I believe it was it. Sorry, no, it was a pink shift in it. You can only see it when you look at it really closely. Really unique color though. And they also sent through two gel liners. So there's one in Forest Shimmer Ink, which I think is a super, super, super dark brown with a gold shift through it. Really pretty. And then there's also another one called uh, Caprice Ink. Cypress, Caprice, Cypress ink. Um, and this one, again, is more of your super dark, uh, I think it's a really, really, really dark green. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to swatch it yet until I take photos of them. So from what I can see, it looks like a really, really, really dark green. Um, really pretty though. Okay, now on to what I purchased. Now, there is a lot of makeup here that is completely unnecessary 
but so necessary at the same time. I am so happy with everything that I've bought. It's not even funny. So I'll start off with the most recent things that I've recently gotten, and that is uh, just two products from Fenty. Um, you guys know I used to work at Sephora, so I've loved Fenty for a really long time, but for some weird reason, I have never owned the um, Gloss Bomb. Um, I recently purchased this in Sephora at Pitt Street. Um, so yeah, super excited. I'm really happy with this. It feels really nice and I love the color and it smells like lollies as well. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, but yeah, super stoked with that. Love it so far. And then I also got one of her lipsticks and this is in the color Spanked. Now, when I worked at Sephora, we never had this in stock. This color was so popular and for good reason. It is such a good everyday kind of color. It's actually very similar to what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, it's like literally the same thing. Um, for reference, I am wearing MAC Mangrove. So pretty much the exact same shade. Um, really love this. I love the texture. The formula is beautiful. It stays for ages. It's super creamy and it's also a matte finish. Um, so yeah, super stoked with these. Love it. Love the packaging. Minimalistic. It's amazing. Moving right along to BH Cosmetics. No, not BH. Beauty Bay, not BH. So Beauty Bay, I actually got these just kind of on a whim. I really did a lot of damage on, I think it was Morphe at one point. I did um, a couple of Morphe orders and for some weird reason, I was just in a shopping mood and I went on to Beauty Bay and I wanted to buy some Jeffree Star cosmetics, but none of anything that I wanted was in stock. So I ended up searching all the new items and at the time the Norvina palette from Anastasia just came out and I am so obsessed. This is such a beautiful palette. It's very like pinky, pastel, kind of girly, like I am obsessed. The colors in here are very, very pretty um, and the shimmers are just to die for. Honestly, I'm yet to do a tutorial with this. I'm definitely going to. Um, there's a lot of looks that I want to use this for and I will do that sometime soon when I'm free, which is never these days. This palette I feel like is extremely popular at the moment and I'm sure you can guess it already because I've done a few looks um, on my Instagram and also I think I've done one or two on here also but that is the Be Perfect Carnival palette. I feel like everyone and their mum is talking about this right now and I am so obsessed with it as well. They honestly have done such a good job. It comes with a really big mirror which is awesome and then you've got this gigantic palette with these amazing super 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 pigmented eyeshadows the oh the combinations are honestly endless like I cannot get over this palette it is so amazing like I have wanted a palette with so many colors and so many neutrals for such a long time but I've never found one that I've absolutely fallen in love with and this is it this is so beautiful I think it retails for around 75 Australian dollars so darn worth it honestly I paid around 75 again for the Norvina palette and it comes with like half the shades so this is worth it if you want something super colorful I've done a couple of looks on my Instagram already if you want to check it out my Instagram is always in the description but I am just obsessed moving right along to Colourpop so I feel like um, I just dropped I just dropped an eyeliner so I've only done one Colourpop order in the past and the reason that I hadn't really ordered anything else is because shipping is a pain in the butt. I never know how long it's going to take and it's quite expensive as well to ship to Australia. Now given that they are super affordable, it is definitely worth it and there was a couple of palettes that I really wanted to buy and there was a few extra things that I wanted to try as well so I just bit the bullet and I, I bought some stuff. First palette that actually made me do this purchase was this palette from Shayla and Colourpop. This is the Perception palette. First off, packaging on point. So beautiful. Now I will say when I got this palette I was a little disappointed because I thought that the pans were going to be a lot bigger. Um, they are tiny but the colors are really pigmented and really beautiful so I'm gonna forgive it for that but I will admit I was a little disappointed with the pan size. If you are Australian they are a little bit bigger than a five cent coin. Keep that in mind. 
So when you open it, you get this gigantic mirror, which is of course a massive plus, but you can see the colors in here are so stunning. They're really beautiful. They're super pigmented. The metallics are just the right amount of creaminess. The mattes are perfectly blendable. It is a really good palette. And if you feel like you could use all the colors, I would say go for it. It's a really good palette. I haven't done any looks with this as of yet. Um, I have played with a lot of the shades, but I haven't filmed anything. So I do have a couple of the shades on my eyes today. I have been absolutely obsessed with this little inner corner color. It's like a yellowish white with a gold shift through it. It's really beautiful. So really stoked with that. It seems really good so far. I'll definitely film some looks with that. And then of course I was scrolling through the eyeshadows and I saw the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights. I have just been obsessed with the collaborations. Um, they've done such a good job and I've used this palette a lot more than the Shayla one just because the, the, the colors in here are my everyday kind of kind of colors so this is what the packaging looks like also really beautiful kind of white and like rose gold and the palettes in here are just so stunning like they're really really neutral you've got a couple of pops of color which are great for not only every day but you can use them on special occasions there's a lot of different looks that you can do with this um this is the palette that i'm actually using right now on my eyes so i've basically used a mixture of the neutrals at the top this color here which is called potion is what i've got pretty much pretty much everywhere um and then i've done a mixture of Stardust, Twinkle, and a little bit of Kaleidoscope just as my halo as well. But again, super creamy, really blendable, extremely pigmented. You can't go wrong. If you want to pay for shipping to Australia, go for it. It's well worth it. And again, the pan sizes are really small, but they are really pigmented. So, mm, like, I'm going to forgive it for that because they are really good. But I wish just that that little bit bigger. I also ended up getting two eyeliners um, from Colourpop. I actually watched one of Katie, like Katie and Daisy Katie. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, I actually watched one of her tutorials and I think she actually used or wanted to use Teaspoon, which was this really interesting kind of green color. I don't have any eyeliners that color. And I also saw this one, which is called Prince, which is a really beautiful kind of like baby blue. So I got those just because they were actually on sale and they're super creamy and pigmented also. So I really wanted to try their concealer. This is the No Filter Concealer and I got the color... Eight fair, which this is white. This is real pale. So this I actually can only use uh, over top of another concealer, or let's be real, like I'm never, I'm never ever really that pale. Maybe like once a week, if that. Um, so I can only use this with another concealer because it is so pale. So just be careful if you're a fake tanner, go higher than eight fair because these are super pasty. They do feel really nice and they blend very well and it's got really great uh, coverage also. Oh my gosh. So, so, I didn't order on Morphe. No, not Morphe. I will get to Morphe last. I didn't order on Makeup Revolution. I'm sure that you guys have seen their new foundation, which is their Conceal and Define, and I love their concealer. It is seriously one of my favorites, but they recently came out with a new foundation, and that is part of the Conceal and Define range, and I got the color F5. Oh my god, you guys. This is really good. I do really enjoy this. It's not as full coverage as I thought it was going to be, and I feel like I do have to go in and out in and out like to really get a lot of product out so it is a bit of a pain in the butt for that but it blends beautifully and it sits really nice on my oily skin um, and it does last quite a long time as well I do have to touch up throughout the day but nothing super crazy um, I do really enjoy this I will definitely be filming with this because I know a lot of people are into it right now but so far so good really enjoying it the color selection is fantastic and I I've got nothing bad to say about it. It's really good. I also ended up picking up a cream blush palette, and this is just the Ultra Blush Palette. <coughs> Weirdly enough, I actually really, really, really enjoy a good cream blush. I feel like I like it better than a powder. Um, now, this does come with eight shades. Eight shades. 
This was four Australian dollars. It was on sale, but oh my gosh. So I have just used one color, which was this one here, and these are super pigmented. It is no joke. Um, but I actually really do prefer a good cream blush over powder. I think it looks really natural and it just blends so easily. And I really do enjoy the look of a good cream blush. So I am really happy with this so far. I'm definitely going to play with some more of the colors. Um, obviously, some of them are really crazy and I feel like with Halloween coming up, hashtag my birthday. I feel like this might be really helpful, especially with some of the brighter colors. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. I'm going to play with that a little bit more and it was super affordable. And I also ended up getting two palettes. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got so many new eyeshadow palettes. It's not even funny. Um, I really don't need to buy any new ones anytime soon. But all of them are so beautiful and they're all really affordable, so can't complain. So, as I was checking out, two new palettes came available and I was like, I'm sure I have those colors already, but I'm going to buy them anyway. So I ended up getting the Soph X Extra Spice palette, which is disgustingly stunning it's not even funny um first of all how how huge is this mirror it's not it's just insane so i'm gonna just pop that there because i know i'm going to or maybe i'll just do that um i don't want to blind you guys with the mirror so i'll just fold it but how stunning are these colors um are you joking i got nothing like i've got nothing so good um really pigmented i can't I'm sorry, I can't. I'm obsessed. Definitely be doing looks with this. Ugh. And then as soon as I was checking out again, this this palette, this palette became available and it is so good. This is the By Petra palette and this is the 36 Professional Eyeshadows. Now when I hear that, I'm like, are they going to be any good? Are they going to be any good? they are really good <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like you fold it open and it has two sides with a ton of eyeshadows you've got one side that is cool tone one side that's warm tone um i'm sorry i'm sorry what uh this was like i think around 20 dollars. like it was really affordable um can we just just look just look how beautiful are these colors I am very excited about the warm side. Obviously, that's my jam, but um, I'm very excited for all of them. Okay, we're moving on to Morphe. Last brand where I spent the most money. I can't help it. I love everything. They're so good. I just... Mm. Mm, so good. So I'm going to start off with the boring things and that is the eyeliners. These, I mean, obviously they're not boring, but compared to what else I got, it's very boring. <laughs> so these I got, I just got four eyeliners. I just wanted to pick up some fun colors because there's a lot of looks that I've got going on right now that I want to do. So I ended up getting um, some basics. I'll just turn around so I can see the colors. Okay, so I've got Bamboo, which is a nude. I also got Harper, which is more of your metallic-y kind of blue color. Um, there's Falling for Green, which is a really beautiful, like, forest green. And then there's Poolside, which is more of, like, a tealy kind of greeny green. Bluey green. Um, really beautiful. The pencils aren't, like, the best quality, but I really do like the colors, so I make them work. Um, so, yeah, excited for those. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> For some excitement. Okay, so I may be one of the last people to jump on this bandwagon, but I ended up getting the Jaclyn Hill palette. Guys, honestly, like this, oh God, okay. So this is just beautiful, honestly. Like I, I can't, like I can't, the colors in here are just so delicious. Like, ugh, so good. Like the colors are just stunning. I'm sure you guys have seen that a million times, but I ended up getting the Jaclyn Hill palette and then this was actually the first thing that I bought out of this whole entire haul. Um, I was most excited for this. I was very happy when I got it. Um, so exciting. So I ended up getting the Vault Collection. I love every single one of these palettes. I think they're beautiful. I've done, I think, a couple of looks... I know I've definitely done one with the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is the more yellowy green um, palette on my Instagram so far. Oh, oh so darn good it's not even funny so yeah super stoked about these if there's any particular palettes that you want me to do a look on please do let me know because I have a lot of looks going on in my brain right now but I don't know which one to do first um so yeah please do let me know that is everything that I've recently gotten um I know there's an issue I've got an issue I can't help it 
Mm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed though. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.